Okay, I'm ready. The loom left me. So how do you make a salad, you may ask? Well, that's pretty simple. You have to open the blinds, or the curtain, or whatever you call that thing that just rolls upwards. Let the sunlight seep onto the kitchen counter. Maybe that was an improper use of the word seep, but... So once your kitchen is full of sunlight, gather your ingredients and your cooking utensils, even though you're not really cooking, you're just making a salad. Like, do you even need instructions to this? I just thought it would be funny. Yes, you need instructions. Of course you need instructions, otherwise there'd be no video. Okay, so your ingredients consist of, I think it's called arugula. I'm not sure, because the one at the grocery store only said green leaves, okay? What else am I gonna put on a salad? Blue leaves. You also need tomatoes, and you need lemon, and you need olive oil, and you need salt. So here's what you need. A blue bowl, or any color bowl, really. A pink strainer, for the aesthetic, obviously. Then you just wanna shove those out of the way. A red cutting board, move it. A petite knife, for a petite girl, move that carefully, carefully. A glass bowl, a clean glass bowl. And then you just wanna set it down gently because it's glass, be careful, oh my god. And then, obviously, you need fully functioning hands. If you don't have fully functioning hands, it does not mean that you cannot make a salad. I am not trying to discriminate. I know this is the internet, you guys are very sensitive. I'm sorry. You can make a salad, you just need to be careful and you need to be dedicated and you need to be careful. Place your bowl into your sink because that's where you want to wash your veggies, right? Do you prefer the bathtub? If you're over here to actually learn how to make a salad, I'm so sorry. This is supposed to be funny, but I know that it's not going to be funny. I'm just trying my best here, okay? Fill the bowl up with water. Delicately place your greens into the water and then you want to like spread them around I guess a little bit um, Just to make sure that you get all the dirt off and if there are any insects drown them and then you want to submerge Everything in water and then you want to place your tomatoes into the water and then you want to turn off the water So you want to replace the water that was in the bowl and then you just want to place everything back in Maybe not the tomatoes because I think that's fine. They're fine, right? And then pose next to your greens Okay, honey, calm down. Leave them in there for a few minutes and then take them out. Um, you can choose however you want to take them out. You can take them out one by one, bit by bit, or all together at once. I obviously chose the bit by bit because I have a lot of time to waste. Now you need to squeeze lemons. So what you'll need is a tiny little cutting board and a sharp object, preferably a knife. And well, a bunch of lemons. Then what you'll need to do is roll the lemons on the counter and cut them in half because rolling them gets the juices flowing, I guess. Just do that to all of the lemons. Now, I would like to thank my family, my parents, my god, everyone. I would like to just be thankful that I have an electric lemon squeezer thinger, madringer. If you have one, you know what's up. So the way that it works is you kind of just plug it in and then you kind of just want to squeeze them all. This may take a bit of time, so I recommend prepping in advance. Maybe I should have said that at the beginning of the video. Sorry? So in my opinion, the best thing about a lemon squeezer is that no matter how juicy the lemon is, it will always, you know, do the last drop. And just in case you want to know how many half lemons you threw away, multiply the number you started with by two. No one needs to know that. Bring back out your cutting board, you know, the big one, and your petite knife. So you need the arugula slash green leaves. Not sure what it is. And place your greens onto the cutting board and just chop them up. Make sure you're not doing it as quickly as the video shows because this clip is sped up. And then once you've, you know, chopped up a bit, put them in the bowl, you kind of just live your life and do whatever you want. Right? Makes sense, huh? And now, a fair warning. Every time you're chopping up greens, there's someone in the corner watching you. And that someone is the Nutella jar standing there waiting, waiting for you to slip up, waiting for you to make a mistake, waiting for you to grab that Nutella jar and open the lid grab a spoon from the nearest drawer or just use your fingertips bro i came up with this on the spot lit <laughs> anyway that nutella jar is dangerous don't forget your tomatoes okay you want to chop them up small tiny little once you've cut all your two vegetables up and place them all in a bowl the lemon you just squeezed lemon and one, two, three circles of olive oil. Three circles of olive oil. Shake, shake, shake the salt shaker over your salad until you're satisfied. And then you wanna grab your tongs, click, click, click. And then you wanna mix the salad. Make sure you mix it really well because you don't want a salty bite, you don't want a lemony bite, and you don't want an oily bite. And then grab a couple bowls and feed your kids. 
Make sure you stay hydrated. Um, this is the most simple salad. If you do this wrong, you're not okay. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed that, make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below what you'd like to see next. Or if you have any constructive criticism, we're always down to improve ourselves. You're the best.